salutations friends welcome back to my channel today I'm going to do another fragrance review for you guys because I recently got this fragrance and there haven't been hasn't been that many fra uh, reviews on it yet um, the one most notable review on this fragrance was by Vava Couture I know I mentioned it in a previous video so I'm going to link it below but it's on the new fragrance from Atelier Cologne, and it's Clementine, California. Now, this is one of their unisex offerings. It's a bright citrus, which is kind of something that I've been getting to know them for, is their citrus fragrances. Obviously, they have a lot more than just citrus. But I wanted to review this for you guys because, A, there wasn't a lot of fragrances out there, or a lot of fragrance reviews of this out there yet. And also because this is very similar to the other fragrances that are citrus in their line. So I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison to the other more popular fragrances that they've had in their collection for a while. And if you have this if you have this fragrances in your collection, is it worth picking up this or not? So, if you are interested in my thoughts on Clementine <laughs> Clementine California from Atelier Cologne, then keep watching. <laughs> Again, I previously mentioned Vava Couture has an amazing review of this fragrance. I'm going to link it below. If you're interested in this fragrance, check out that one as well. So obviously I purchased a bottle, and that's just mostly because I, if any fragrance is citrus, I will pick it up more than likely. I really love citrus fragrances. And I've really been loving the citrus fragrances from Atelier Cologne. They're very fresh and kind of juicy, but they're still very pleasant and they work well on men and women and also it doesn't really matter too much what your age is. Now I'm going to read you the notes I have off to the side and then I'm going to let you know how this lasts on me, how it wears, why I purchased it. And then I'm going to get into the comparison with the other um, citrus fragrances from this um, house. So the notes are clementine, obviously, mandarin, juniper berries, star anise, pepper, basil, vetiver, sandalwood, and cypress. Now with this fragrance, it smells like some little kid went to his mom who makes perfume with a glass of clementine juice and was like, I want to smell like this. It is so close to the smell of clementine juice. I don't know if you guys have ever tried clementine juice. It's one of my favorite juices. I love it above orange. I love tangerine juice and clementine juice specifically. But it's not quite the juice, which is really nice. Clementines can... It's really hard to work with it because it immediately smells like juice. It immediately can smell cheap or gimmicky. And what I like about this is the mix of the basil, the cypress. I keep mixing up notes because sometimes I film videos one after the other, so I want to make sure I'm giving you the right notes and not just spouting from memory from a previous video. The sandalwood, the cypress, the pepper, and the basil on this. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm going to get better at these videos, I promise. Um, really kind of... I'm doing this thing again. Really kind of set the tone for this fragrance. It sets the tone and not the clementine. If the clementine and the mandarin set the tone for this fragrance, it would be gimmicky, it would smell too much like juice, and I don't think it would be very juvenile. You know, there's something about smelling youthful and fresh, and there's something about smelling like a 10-year-old. And I think that most people, unless you're 10, don't really want to smell like a 10-year-old or like a 10-year-old's fragrance. If you're going to be investing the money in a bottle, you want it to smell a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more expensive, and a little bit more unique than just a 10 year old's fragrance. Which is why I like the fact that I pick up a lot of cypress, a lot of basil, and a lot of pepper in this. Now, first and foremost, like I said, you get the juice, you get the clementine, you get the mandarin. But the fact that the other notes in there kind of elevate it and spice it up just enough for it to smell like a juicy, refreshing clementine, but a beautiful interpretation as a fragrance and not just a cup of juice. So that's what I really, really loved about this fragrance. Now, I got the big bottle because I generally, with citrus fragrances, go through them like water. Like, you know, I will go through them and I usually buy big bottles of citrus fragrances, specifically in the summer, specifically in the spring and the winter, Florida's humidity 
I'm always, whenever it's really hot and humid, or if I'm sitting around the house, if I'm going outside, I will drench myself. I will overspray citrus fragrances. I don't really overspray any other type of fragrances, but uh, citrus fragrances I will ridiculously overspray on my body. I just love smelling like citrus. And so I knew a smaller bottle of this was going to go fast, so I picked up a larger bottle. Now, I, when I purchased this, I also wanted to purchase a bottle of Orange Sanguine. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm... But I didn't want to get a big bottle. I wanted to get the um, 30 milliliter uh, size, but they didn't have it. So I got a travel spray to see how long I went through a travel spray of that. Um, but I have sampled all the other citrus ones, or at least the ones that have been in their collection for a little while. And that's kind of what I wanted to get into next. The first one I wanted to come <laughs> compare that fragrance to is Bergamot Soleil. That has to be one of my favorite citrus fragrances from this house, and I really love it. I'm going to read you the notes. I don't have the bottle with me currently. I ran out of it a few months ago. I had a 30 milliliter bottle, and I just haven't gotten around to picking up another bottle of it yet. I'll probably do it very soon. I'm going to go through a crazy citrus fragrance buying spree like I did with vanilla, <laughs> amber um, in the fall. So you're going to see a lot you're of see a lot of citruses for me. But the notes are bergamot, uh, emberet, jasmine, lavender, cardamom, vetiver, oak moss, and white amber. What I love about that fragrance is the bergamot is so distinctive, but I love how the oak moss and the vetiver just kind of sucks it up a little bit. It is another very bright, distinctive um, citrus fragrance from... Um, Atelier Cologne. Um, I like to wear that one kind of more in the afternoon, um, but I do tend to crazy, crazy overspray that one. I love bergamot. I drink, if you see me drinking tea, it's usually Earl Grey tea. I love bergamot. It's one of my favorite notes. It's one of my favorite things to drink, to eat, to just have in my life. I love bergamot. So that was obviously a favorite one. And then the other one I wanted to talk about is orange sanguine. I'm going to get the notes for that. And then that? there's orange sanguine. Let me read you the notes. It's blood orange, bitter orange, jasmine, amber woods, tonka bean, and sandalwood. This is another fragrance from Atelier Cologne, like Clementine California, which borderlines on juice. It's almost juice. It's kind of juice, but it's not like I just spilled a cup of orange juice on me. And I can take that from the bitter orange and definitely the sandalwood. It makes it just really warm. This is definitely a little bit warmer than Clementine California, which to me is a little bit crisper, but it is still really, really delicious. And it's another one of my favorite fragrances from Atelier Cologne. Now, I didn't mention the Mandarin one. That one to me doesn't quite fit the what I'm trying to go for with this, which is kind of like a citrus juice really simple interpretation but very well done so that's kind of like what I wanted to get into next is now that I've shown in the two that I compare it to <clears throat> excuse me things that I'm going to buy if you have them in, in your collection is it worth picking up Clementine you have to excuse me I've been getting over being sick and that means that my throat gets a little stuffed up I'm very sorry I've got a cup of tea right here and it's almost gone so Anyway, so how does this compare to Bergamot Soleil and Orange Sanguine? And if I'm pronouncing Sanguine wrong, I'm so sorry. I used to call it Sanguine, and they looked at me like I was bonkers. Um, first and foremost, what I, the, th the two of those compared to this one to me are bright citruses that are not one note, but they're not, they don't have a lot of depth and complexity to them. The Mandarin one, I think, has a little bit more complexity. So Bit spicy. So that's kind of like why I'm keeping that one out of this comparison. The uh, Bergamot Soleil to me is just this beautiful bergamot um, with the oak moss and the white amber and then the orange sanguine to me is kind of the most similar to this. It's so similar to orange juice but it's not and this is so similar to clementine juice but it's not. So what is the difference? Well I'm gonna cut out Bergamot Soleil from this comparison just because bergamot is a completely different citrus and a lot of people can distinctively tell bergamot from orange from lemon from lime but it is a very bright citrus and it is very nice in your collection I think you could easily get this one and it wouldn't kind of 
mix match or smell the same. So we're going to remove that one from the comparison, but I did want to mention it because it is one of those bright citruses that you get mostly bergamot and then you get some nice other notes to it, which kind of like sex it up a little bit. But I wanted to talk about Orange Sanguine in comparison to Clementine California. And the fact that is that since they both are so close to Clementine and orange juice, they are ridiculously similar. Similar. I, The difference to me when I smell, and again, this is my nose, this is on my skin, this is my opinion as a consumer. I think that they smell not identical, but close enough that if you have one or the other, you probably don't need both. The difference that I noticed with Clementine California is this is a little bit brighter and Orange Sanguine is a little bit warmer. Um, so if you like really bright citruses, I think this would be the one to go for. And I'm going to get the basil and the vetiver for that one. The Orange Sanguine, I think the sandalwood and the jasmine, I'm making sure I'm saying the right things, kind of warm that up a little bit and make it a little bit deeper and slightly heavier. I would say this is more of a daytime fragrance and that one's more of um still a daytime fragrance. That one could also easily transition to kind of like late afternoon or ridiculously casual evening time. This one to me is just a little bit too bright for that. So the thing is, is like if you have one, do you need the other? No, actually you don't. Now, you can get both as I'm going to do because I like citrus fragrances and they layer beautifully together. But I think that if you have Orange Sanguine and you wanted to see if this is something you wanted to add to your collection, get a sample of it first. Wear on one arm <laughs> Orange Sanguine and the other arm in Clementine, California. And if you can distinctively two to three hours later tell the difference, then I would pick up a bottle of this. If it smells the same and you can't tell the difference, then I wouldn't pick this up. I'd get the Mandarin one or the Bergamot one. Um, or if you've got this and you were thinking about getting Orange Sanguine, the same thing. I don't think you need both of these in your collection because I think that they smell ridiculously similar. And the only real difference I can tell, and again, this is my untrained nose, this is my opinion, is the fact that the orange one is a little bit warmer and this one is a little bit brighter. But to me, they are ridiculously similar to a point that I don't think you need both in your collection if you are deciding between the two. Do you want to smell a little bit warmer or do you want to smell a little bit brighter? That's ultimately the decision I made when I decided to get a big one of this. Because I was going to, because I didn't have the smaller version available at Sephora, that's why I got the travel spray instead. Um, because generally what happens is, is in spring, I like to smell bright and crisp. And citrus to me is the perfect thing to go for that. But sometimes if citrus is a little bit too warm, it smells a little bit off on my skin in the heat and the humidity, which is why I decided to go for the big bottle of Clementine California. And I really, really love this. So ultimately the comparison is, is they are both similar. Again, I'm reiterating, I'm like a broken record. I went with this one because it was brighter, but I am definitely going to be picking up a bottle of the Orange Sanguine, and I also need to repurchase the Bergamot one as well. <laughs> but ultimately, the difference is between warmth and brightness, and also more appropriate for daytime. That one, you might be able to get away with it evening casual. I'll also um, say that these are both, or this one specifically since I'm reviewing this one, but the same goes for Orange Sanguine. I think that these have wonderful longevity on my skin when it comes down to the heat and the humidity. They last about four hours before I have to reapply, which is another reason why I kind of overspray myself with citrus because usually if I'm spraying citrus, I'm going to be out and about and I don't like carrying a big jar, which is also why I got a travel spray of the orange. So if I wear this one, I can reapply orange throughout the day later on and it kind of smells really nice and it works really well together. I know, I'm a little bit bonkers, but that's okay. But the longevity on these is about four hours in the humidity. Um, a of their own, they last a long time on my skin, which is really, really nice. Um, on top of that, I think that these smell beautiful throughout the entire day. I don't notice much of a scent story when I wear these. Generally, when I apply these on my skin, it gets a little bit less crisp, but the fragrance is still there. It's not like I get the top notes and the heart notes 
and the bass notes. They're all pretty much the same, and it's just the intensity at how they kind of wear away softly. It's not like, oh, I get citrus, and then half an hour later, I get basil, and then I get clementine at the end. It's like all the same thing. It's like one mashup. It's just really intense in the beginning, and then it goes down to nothing closer to three to four hours. So that is another thing about them. The longevity for the citrus fragrance is pretty good because generally citrus fragrances on my skin last one to two hours. So the fact that I get four is really, really nice. This review is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, so I'm going to end it here, but I'm just going to throw it out there one more time. I think this is a fantastic fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. I think it's very refreshing. It's very appropriate for work or dates or shopping. You can wear this to the theater. You can wear this out to dinner. Again, I would say this is probably more of a daytime fragrance, but again, that is my opinion. And I think that if you have orange sanguine and you like to collect um, citrus fragrances, this is an excellent one to add to your collection. But if you were, again, deciding between orange sanguine and clementine California, I would say go with, if you want brighter, go for this one. And if you want warmer, go with the orange one. But they're both ridiculously beautiful fragrances from a wonderful house, so I obviously recommend this. <laughs> If you like my fragrance videos and my long-winded weird blubbering of explanations of things and mispronunciations of words and notes and ingredients, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. Also, if you like my fragrance videos, I put videos out pretty much every day practically, Monday through Friday, and a lot of times I will put them out also on Saturdays and Sundays. So do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss out because I will always have something for you to watch. In any case, guys, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and I'll see you next time. But P.S., obviously, if you're watching this past the 19th, tomorrow is a very special Fragrance First Impression Friday, where I try out the disgusting Secretions Magnifiques from Le Tat Le Bread Orange. So if you want to see me, my reaction on that beauty, then... Definitely subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.